real estate, merchandise, and entertainment make up the sprawling Trump empire. You're fired. It spans four continents and more than a dozen countries, including Scotland and Ireland, where the president-elect owns luxury golf courses. The United Arab Emirates, where another course bears Trump's name. There are Trump-branded hotels and residences in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Istanbul, Turkey, the Indian cities of Pune and Mumbai, and the Philippine capital, Manila. To avoid any conflicts of interest, President-elect Trump has said he'll step away from the business bearing his name and suggested turning it over to his adult children. New York University management professor Robert Solomon says real estate is a particular problem. Typically, there are lots of permits, licenses, zoning laws that are involved. Solomon says foreign leaders the president will negotiate with could be the same ones negotiating business deals with the Trump organization. By simply passing control to his kids, that raises the possibility that certain officials in foreign countries will try to provide benefits to the Trump organization as a way of cur currying favor with the U.S. government. One potential conflict of interest has already emerged. In November, Ivanka Trump was photographed in a meeting between her father and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Trump U.S. properties could also present possible ethical problems. In early December, the Kingdom of Bahrain booked a reception at the Trump Hotel in Washington, just miles from the White House. Norman Eisen, a former legal advisor to President Obama, says that raises the prospect of Trump making money from his newly elected office. The most fundamental rule is you keep your personal affairs and your uh, government affairs separate. You don't mingle the two because when you do mingle the two, you start getting into legal jeopardy, including potential uh, criminal issues. Eisen says the president-elect's only viable options are putting Trump organization assets into a blind trust managed by an independent non-family trustee or selling them outright. Short of that, Eisen says any potential conflict that could arise could potentially erode public confidence in Trump and his ability to govern in the best interests of the United States. Diane Estabrook, Al Jazeera, New York.